In this digital age, we are surrounded by animated features, whether it be special effects filled action movies or CGI family films, or traditionally drawn dramas. With all of these films surrounding us, one may be inclined to wonder, who made the first feature-length animated film? The title of first animated feature is often attributed to Walt Disney's classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. For more than 10 years prior to the release of Walt's film, another artist had already claimed the title. Lottie Reiinger was born in Germany at the end of the 19th century. Growing up, Lottie became fascinated by the rising medium of cinema, so much so that she wanted to become an actress. While studying under Max Reinhardt, she caught the eye of director Paul Wigner, but it was not her acting that interested him, but her skill with paper. Since a young age, Lottie had a passion for paper cutting and would put on little plays in a similar style to the shadow puppet eaters seen in Asia. This passion would carry through to her adult life. Wagner would commission Lottie to make title sequences of two of his films using her signature paper cutouts, and thus Lottie went from an inspiring actress to a professional animator. Lottie would go on to make several shorts using her stop-motion puppets, but the idea of making an animated feature hadn't crossed her mind. In 1923, Lottie was approached by the father of one of her students. This man was Louis Hagen, who has a name so common that it's impossible to find a picture of him. So enjoy this artistic rendition. Louis was a banker, and he had made a large investment in supply of film stock, taken by the beauty of Lottie's work. He offered her some of the film on the condition that she would use it to create a feature-length film. At first, Lottie was hesitant about this, because up until then, no one thought an animated feature could work, and it would be a large investment of her time and skill. But Lottie was up to the task. She started work on the film in 1923, and by 1926, her masterpiece, De Adventure des Prinzen Ahmed, was released. To create this beautiful film, Lottie created black paper cutouts of every character and prop. These were arranged on a series of clear glass tables so that different portions of the animation could be done independently from each other, as well as allow for the use of sand animation without the worry of sand and paper mixing. This device would become the predecessor of Walt's invention, the multiplane camera. Unfortunately, the version of Lottie's film that we have today is a copy of copies. The original film, like many other works of art, was lost in the 1930s thanks to the Nazis. Both Lottie and her husband were very left-leaning politically, so when they saw the Nazis rise to power in their home country of Germany, they knew they needed to get the heck out of there. And unfortunately, Lottie was unable to take Ahmed with her. 